Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison Hill and I make videos talking about my crafts and then also some fun recipe videos and other videos like that. And today I'm going to be doing kind of a new video to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about braiding some top anxiety products off of Amazon. For those of you who don't know, I have been struggling with anxiety for most of my life. Ever since I was, oh gosh, I want to say first grade maybe. I've struggled with very hard test anxiety. Whenever I have struggled on a test, I, I start sobbing. Pretty hardcore stuff. And then after my dog Zach passed away in November of last year, I started struggling with ways to figure out how to cope with my anxiety and how to solve it because he was really my anxiety solver there. So today I'm going to be rating some top rated Amazon anxiety products. I just ordered three. But before you begin, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for whenever I post new videos like this one. So let's begin. So first off, we have this Squishy Toys pack. It came in a pack of 72 by Yi Hong. I'm pretty sure this was four and a half to five stars, so very high rated. And they are sil silicone squishies, so let's give them a try. So immediately what I'm noticing is that on the label, unlike a lot of Amazon boxes, it opens very differently. It doesn't open like a normal box which I find that very interesting. All right. Okay, so very easy to open, which is good. Oh, wow, okay. So, based on the picture off of Amazon, let me get my phone, and let me fact check myself. Let's see. So this one has pretty much, this is the picture of all of them. It doesn't like really say what it's in or anything. It's just 72 pieces. And it says it is four and a half stars. So here we got all of the squishies right here. And I think, okay, so they are all individually packaged, which is good. So let's give them a try. So first off, we have, okay, so the first one looks like it's a little bear-ish. I don't know. It, I mean, it looks like a bear. Okay, so they are definitely silicone very squishy, which is nice. But yeah, it looks like it's a little bear. Next up, number two. I'm very curious to see if it is actually 72. I just find that like a weird number. So I'm pretty sure this is like maybe a duck. So we have a little duck, one of those little laying down squishies. Okay, now we have what looks like a little chick in there, squishy number three. And I'm only saying the numbers because, like I said, I'm curious to see whether or not these are actually 72. But this one is actually very squishy. It's a very cute little chick. Okay, next up we have a little jellyfish, maybe. Squishy number four. You know, maybe it's like a little jellyfish. Very cute as well. Number five. Oh, this I know what this one is. A little panda. I love pandas. They've always been one of my favorite animals since I was a little girl. So, squishy number five is a little flat little panda. Oh, and you can see his little legs. He's got little legs. 
up here, very stretchy, very squishy. Next up. Okay, now I have questions because this is pretty much the same as this one right here, but it's green. So maybe it is a jellyfish. But I don't, well, maybe they do make green jellyfishes. I don't know. But yeah, pretty much the same as number four. And number six is a little squishy squid jellyfish. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. This one is a little pink rabbit. I think. I've never seen rabbits have purple ears. So this is number seven. Cute little rabbit. And then same as the panda bear. It's got little, okay, this is not a bunny. This is, is it a bunny mermaid? I, I don't know what that one is. So that is number seven. Thanks. Seven, yeah. So next up, oh, we got a little penguin dude. A little purple penguin dude. Their eight little squishy. So this one's actually very, very flat. The flattest one yet. And number nine. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. Why am I why am I using my scissors? I don't know. I could have just torn it. Okay, so it's got a little bit of like a rib texture. Oh, it's like a porcupine. It's like a yellow little porcupine. You can see the little curve on the face. So yeah, I think this is a little yellow porcupine. So number nine. Okay. I don't know what you are. Okay, this might be a little pink dog, maybe. So we're at we're up to ten right now. Next up, we have okay. It looks like it's the same as the last one, but it's yellow. It's very squishy. Okay, this one. Looks like it is some sort of bird. No inclination whatsoever what the bird is, but it's like a little bird. Oh, okay. I, I know what this one is. Based on the look, I believe. Oh, yeah. I think this is a little seal. Little seal squishy. That's cute. Oh, this one's adorable. I just decided to grab my scissors again. It's got a little alligator, very cute. This one is the same as the first one, but it's like light blue. Let me grab a drink real quick. Alrighty, just so much plastic. Okay, so I think this is like a little gray hedgehog. Okay, let's see, we got a little bear. <gasps> oh, okay, so I actually didn't know what this was. I actually thought it was a dinosaur but it looks like it's a camel. I don't know why there's a green camel in here. That's quite odd. Next up, we have what looks like a green seal. Okay, next we have a little brown crocodile. I'm trying to make more space. Oh, We have a little light blue penguin.
I don't know what this is. Maybe a narwhal. Oh, maybe it is a narwhal. Yeah, I think it might be a narwhal. Okay. Oh, we got a little elephant. A little light green elephant. Right here. Very cute. What the heck is this? Oh, it's an elephant? But it doesn't look like the last elephant. So, we got this elephant. elephant? I have no idea. That doesn't look like the last fishing witch. Thought it would. Oh, I know what this one is. We got a little green bunny. Okay, now we got the same as that elephant. If you know what that one was, leave it in the comments below. I have no idea what it is. But we have that in orange. Very bright orange, which is nice. We have a little gray bunny. I have no idea what this is. No idea. It looks like it's some sort of bird, but I have no idea what it is. Okay, we got that same as that questionable little bunny before the purple penguin. This time it's blue. It's got like a little tail on it, which makes me think it's not a bunny. I don't know. Oh, this one's adorable. It's another little panda. But it's like a little sleeping. That's really cute. I like that one. Okay. And then another camel. This time it's pink. Okay. We got this little guy. No idea what it is. Oh, I think this is maybe like a blue panda. Like a little dark grayish panda. Looks very similar to this panda right here. So maybe they just made that in a different color. Yep, this one's the same as that little round panda. But this time it's purple. There is so much plastic. My goodness. Oh, this one's adorable. This one's adorable. The little squirrel. Look at the cute little tail. You know what? I just realized I'm wasting all of this time on packaging all of these squishies. So I think I'm gonna take a break, unbag all of the rest of these squishies, and then show y'all them and then maybe give you the final count then so yeah okay so it's been about a little bit over than 10 minutes from unboxing the rest or unbagging i mean the rest of the squishies so now i'll show you the rest of them so here we got this little guy don't know what he is a little yellow seal I have absolutely no idea what this is. It's got like little ears on it. I have no idea. You got a little blue cloud. We got another little weird bird, maybe a puffin. We got a little white cloud. This one's adorable, it's got a little smile. We got some sort of cat, maybe, and like a gray. We have a little light blue elephant. We got a little star. We got another little blue seal. We got a little yellow, maybe oyster type thing. 
We got a cute little sleeping bunny with a flower on its head. This one's green. And then we have this other one. This one. We have these two little, my guess is a dragon maybe, in blue and white. We have a little sleeping cat. This one's really cute. We have a little bear. Okay, this one raises questions for me. Because like I said, where are they in this lamp? And it's you. Where's your yellow friend? There's your yellow friend. Like I said, I thought these were porky finds based on what was on their heads. I'm not sure what they are now. Because this is a hedgehog. Very clearly a hedgehog to me. It's got the arch in the face and it has spikes. So now I'm wondering what the heck are those other two? Porcupine? Well no, porcupines, maybe that one's a porcupine and maybe that's a hedgehog. I have no idea what those other two are. But then we also have a little yellow one. And then we have another one of those weird puffin things. And then we have cute, two cute little turtles. And they got little shell patterns on the back. So cute. And then we have another little sleeping cat, maybe. Then we got a little standing elephant. And then I'm in love with these. A green and a yellow unicorn. I wish it came in pink or white because those are common unicorn colors. But I love how there's a yellow one. Very cool. If you don't know, unicorns are my favorite animals. We have another little star. This one's in white. And unlike the other one, it's a little bit more bent. We have another little oyster. This one's purple. And then these ones are mysteries to me. I have no idea what these are. We have a yellow and a white. My guess is a pig. But I have, n well, maybe it is a pig because of the nose. Yeah, my guess is like a sleeping pig, but they're not pink, which is questionable because it's obviously that, that like fictional pigs are pink. So I don't know why those aren't pink. Next we have another one of those little bunnies with a flower on its head. We have, my guess is an elephant. But it doesn't have like elephant ears. It has like these weird like other little ears. So my guess is still an elephant, but I don't know. We have another little narwhal-y thing. We have another little standing elephant. This one, again, no idea what it is. We have another little sleeping cat. We have one of those questionable elephants and then we have a little pink squirrel so now the question is is there 72 Okay, so I just counted, there are 72, which is great. So, the advertising worked, there are 72. So now I decided that I'm going to rate the products on three different scales. One, appearance. So, based on appearance of these, I'm going to rate five stars on whether or not they are appealing. And I would give these a four and I say four because like I said a lot of them I had no idea what they were and I want to see on the actual Amazon page so on the Amazon page it doesn't say what they are which I wish it did 
a variety of animals, which it said what those animals are. So based on that, I would say a four, because like I said, a lot of them, I don't know what they are. And if I'm squeezing it, I would like to know what it is. But that's just me. So my next thing is gonna be maybe something they could change with these. So like I said, I had to unbag these. They pretty much fill a Publix bag. And what I wish that this company did would be maybe to write what the animal is on the back. As you can see, the bag has a little bit of black on it. So maybe use that same color black to write what that animal is. Because I saw like a lot of kids on this. So if you're buying a kid this and they're learning animals, maybe you could, maybe if it would say what the animal is, that would help the kid understand what it is. So I would say maybe write what the animal is. That would be a great help to me, but then also maybe for younger kids. And then my final rating is going to be whether or not this will help me. And I know for a fact that silicone squishies are very good for me. I had, when I was in middle school, a big little tube of unicorn squishies that were silicone. And I used them all the time. They were awesome. I didn't really know how to clean them because they got dust on them. But now I know all you got to do is put them in water and it comes off. But yeah, I think... These are all super, super cute. I say that my favorite are probably the unicorns because obviously I'm a little biased. I also really love this little panda. It's so cute. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, there are all my squishies. Moving on to the next product. Okay, so it's been a day later since I've gotten the squishies. And my second product came in, and it is this journal called Let That S Word Go. A journal for leaving your BS behind and creating a happy life for you. So I got this because I saw it online and all the anxiety products. And I was like, okay, that would be really nice to actually chronicle my anxiety and ways to fix it. And it's also got really cute rainbows inside. And I really thought when I was going to open it, because unlike, there were two different ones. There was this one, and then like an $8.99 version. And I thought this was going to be like a little workbook maybe, but it is just a journal. Which I'm a little iffy about, because I don't use journals. I've never been a real journal person. So, the fact that now I have a journal, I can see being very helpful. So I just actually just writ, wrote something down about the class that I'm taking and a way to fix that and fix cramming. So just like yesterday, I'm gonna rate this on appearance. Appearance, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a three. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Only because, you know, it's got these really cute rainbows and this really cute font on the back, on the front. But if you look on the back, it's blank. And I really wish that rainbow pattern would have happened on the back. And I think that would have been really helpful. Um, I think another tip that I have, maybe a tip. I don't really know how you could fix this because it's just a journal. Um, maybe because it says a journal for leaving your blank behind and creating a happy life for you. I really think, you know, in order for that to happen, whoever wrote this, it didn't really say online, should have maybe like given some examples on the first couple pages instead of just like opening it first page. I think that would have been really nice to see some examples of stuff that you can leave behind if you're not really a big journal person like myself. I think that would have been really helpful. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
pretty much a journal, pretty straightforward. But I think this will be really helpful for me regarding my dog's passing last year. I still carry a lot of grief over that and a lot of anxiety over that. So I think this will also be very helpful for that. But other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward because it's just a journal. Okay, so these next three products are going to be ones that I found at Walmart. And if you notice, I've been wearing different shirts it's because I'm filming these in different days because these products have arrived different days. But I actually went to per Walmart in person and got three stuffed, three things to review for this video. So first off, we have this, this amazing squishy surprise multi-fun pack of squishies. They're so cute. You got like a little unicorn, a pink one in it, and a silver narwhal in there. So let's get this bad boy open. I see we got some tape. I'm just going to have to rip it because I don't have any scissors up here in my room. Come on, tape. Let's see. I don't think I do. Do not. So let's see. Come on, tape. There we go. Please say there's not one. Great, there's another one on the other side. Lovely. I think I'm just do, just do this side. And apparently, there is one mystery character, and it's got like these little cute little characters on the back. And I actually had, I think, according to this, I had Peyton and Penelope. They had these cute little names. I had the panda and the penguin and the unicorn. I had the bigger versions when I was in high school. So this definitely brings back some memories. All right, let's see. So here we have the unicorn, which is Uni. I don't even know that name. She's just so cute. Look at her. She's a cute little unicorn with a cute little turquoise mane. Very soft, super squishy. And I noticed they definitely made an upgrade with the colors on here because the ones that I had had would always just like rub off. So I definitely don't think that will happen this time, which is good. Next is the penguin, or in this case, Penelope. Look at her, she's just this cute little purple penguin. They're very shiny, which is very interesting, and they're super, super soft to squish. Next, we have a narwhal named Natalie. She's silver and cute, and she's got little heart eyes. So cute. I kind of wish her horn was, like, maybe gold, only because her body's silver. So that's the thing. And then let's see... I have to get into the other side to get this mystery character. I'm kind of hoping it's the Peyton or the panda bear because I love pandas. Here we go. It is. Oh, I think it's a little. Oh, it's a little dog named Bart named Parker. Oh, that's actually really cute. That's adorable. The purple eyes kind of creep me out. But other than that, super, super cute. So here we have the amazing squishies. The unicorn in here. Very, very cute. Next up, we have these squishy party favors. These were like $4. And I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. And immediately I saw this little corgi in, in there and I was like, sold. Like, give it to me. And like, it has a little llama too. Like a little llama with sunglasses. Like how, how adorable is that? And it's got like this super soft texture. Let's see. So based on, I'm holding the penguin right now. The penguin, the other squishies, they feel a little bit softer than this one. These ones feel a little bit more smooth. But they definitely have, like, look at those co rainbow colors on this llama. 
so cute adorable next we have what looks like little cat ice cream cone I mean adorable so cute reminds me of sherbert this is so cute and look at like all the detail very detailed on this ice cream cone and very squishy as well I'm gonna save the last for last Oh, this one's so cute, too. We got a little cupcake. Also very detailed. I mean, look at all those sprinkles in there. Just so cute. So adorable. Look at, like, the, the detail on, like, the cupcake liner. Very cute. Also very squishy. And now to the corgi. So, story time. So, if you don't know, I'm obsessed with corgis. They're adorable. I'm obsessed with them. I'm getting one when I, when I get down with college. There's no doubt in my mind. Because they're just so cute and their stubby little legs are adorable. And when I saw that this one was riding in a donut, I didn't even have to look at the other ones. I just wanted this one. I mean, just look at them. Look at the little tongue. Oh my gosh, just so cute. Just an adorable little squishy with a little corgi. I think between all eight of these squishies that I got today, I definitely think this one will be the one that I'm, I squished the most only because it is a corgi. And I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with corgis. So I'm a little biased there. And finally, we have this color knee go change stress ball. I thought, it, look at the packaging, just so cool, very hip. It says knee to mellow out. Mellow out, color change knee go is, a, is the groovy globe that excites your eyes while it soothes your soul. Squeeze it and travel to a new dimension of color. Mm. So, I'm trying to think. Oh, great. Another thing of tape. That's lovely. So, I'm kind of wondering whether or not. Okay, so it's very, it's very soft. It is extremely soft. I thought, oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. It has like little colors in there. That's actually really cool. This feels phenomenal. I also think I'll be squeezing this a lot. I mean, look at that. Look at all those colors right there. Just so cool. Um, I'm mainly seeing, let's see. Okay, so it looks like there's like some sort of powder in there, which is nice. But yeah, I think this is just a super cool stress ball. I really, I didn't think it would be like a powder. I really thought it would be like maybe color changing by the heat of your hands. But I can't stop squishing this. It's just like so fun to play with. And, I'm, and it's very, very soothing. But yeah, I think these Walmart toys are going to be super, super fun. And very playful. So yeah. Okay, so a little side note. So the little knee dough squeeze ball that... I got at Walmart. This is, I want to say, maybe a couple weeks since I went to Walmart. And I've been squeezing this practically every single time. I've been going to bed because it's so soft. It's so relaxing. The color change is amazing. So, we went back to Walmart today. And I got the other two colors, blue and pink. Because I thought I would try them out because... I love this yellow one so much. I thought having two more colors would be so fun. So here we have the blue one. Very blue. And then if you squeeze it. Oh, it's like pink. It's like very cotton candy. -y. Look at that. Wow. And also like the color change is very, very, very soothing. So I love that. Let's get this pink one out. Oh, we got like a purpley. That that's actually really cool. I like that. But if I had to recommend anything from this video, and I still have one coming in the mail that's been taking a while, if I had to recommend one thing, I would definitely recommend these color changing knee dough balls. They are 
just so relaxing. They are so soothing. They help me go to sleep, which is awesome. I've been having such hard time going to sleep lately, and this yellow one has been so great for me to use. And now I have these two, which is also very nice. And they're super, super soft, which is really, really nice. I haven't been really playing with, like, these ones or the ones that had the corgi in it. I played with the corgi. But it, whenever I'm home squeezing something, I squeeze these because they're just super, super soft. And they are color changing, which is very, very cool. So if I had to re recommend anything from this video to y'all, it would definitely be these. And they're actually super affordable, $3 each. Like, oh my God, that's uh, so good. Okay, y'all, so my very last squishies just came in the mail. Finally, this has kind of been like a month long process. So I'm glad that it's finally over with. So here we got the final squishies. We got some pineapple stress balls. And I got these because they were listed on Amazon as 99 cents a piece. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. I'm curious to see whether or not they're good quality. Because when I looked up a lot of stress balls on Amazon, a lot of them were just like 99 cents, a dollar, like really, really cheap. And they looked like really cute pineapples. So I was like, oh my gosh, I should give these a try. So let me show you these. So here we got a little yellow pineapple. We got a little mint with a, this one has like a little green, light green top. We have a little like minty green pineapple with like a pink thing on the top and then so on the actual amazon page it has four different colors so i got four hoping that they were going to give me one of every color but they didn't so they gave me two of these little pink ones with little blue tops and all four of them are basically the same they got little orbies on the inside very squishy they're very soft I really love the detailing on the pineapple I love how you can see like the depth of the spikes which is really nice I was really curious to see how those would turn out and then I love how these are kind of like little silicone as well but that's it for this video guys if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up Leave me a comment on what products I should rate next if you enjoyed this video. Bye guys, hope y'all have a great day.